Hello everyone and welcome to 2276 Ewings Street in Silver Lake. This is the hottest open house I have ever hosted. Actually, that's not true. It's the hottest virtual open house I've ever hosted. I've hosted hotter open houses with guests. But now we are going to try and, and survive today's heat. I think it's one million degrees out here and... It's been a crazy week of activities and showings. Things are really happening out there. And, and without further ado, let's take a look at this triplex listed by us of the Sanborn team for $950,000. Built in 1920, the lot is 7,500 square feet. What can you do on 7,500 square feet? That's 650 some meters. And there's just so much you can do, but let, let, let's, let's not yak too much. Look, this is the back structure right here. This, that's the middle structure right there. This is the house. And we have a fig tree. There's a fig tree. Is this a sign? Most of these open houses I host, there is a fig tree. Now, it's either a sign or... There's just a lot of fig trees in LA. And I'm starting off the comments with the usual welcome. Wishing everybody, yay, there I am. Okay, this is the little structure right here. The back is a studio. The middle one is a one bedroom. The front house. The front house is two bedroom, two bath. Yes, you can plant a garden. You mean me planting a garden today in this heat? All right, guys, the street. This part of uh, Silver Lake, it's called Edendale. Edendale, I wouldn't know how to pronounce it even if you taught me how to. Okay, back behind us, we have Griffith Observatory. And thank you very much, Nancy, for joining us. It's hard to stay cool today. It's 101 over here, you guys. But this is what it is about. That kind of commitment to show you guys and sell this property that has such a big future, because it really does. Incredible future for this property. Let's take a look at the end of the road. Griffith Observatory and Hollywood sign. This is the top of the street. You, oh, you want to see more of that view? Okay, here it is. Once again, welcome to 2276 Ewing Street in Silver Lake, listed by the Sanborn team for $950,000. This is Matthias. If you have any questions, feel free to type them in. Or look, you can call this number. Visit this, the website, okay. All right, guys, the front of the house. Let's get serious about it. Let me show you the front of the house. It's kind of charming and cool. Let's see if, anybody, let's see if somebody's home. Nobody's home, but we're lucky because we have the keys. So let's go take a look at this house, which I might as well take this opportunity to tell you that somebody died in it. Okay, ready guys? Let's go in. Woo! Here we are. The good, okay, living room. I'm going to give you an idea of the size of this living room. Okay. 
here, sir. Well, I see. Okay, you guys see? You have it. Floors can use some TLC. Little hallway. Bedroom. Can you guys see it? Hope you guys can see this bedroom. I'm gonna go over here. Get you an idea of the size of this bedroom. The closet. It's been a while since I got in a closet for you guys. Look, here I am. It's a spacious closet. Whew. Yes, it's a little messy. It requires a little bit of work. The bathroom. The first bathroom. So as I was telling you guys, it was a busy week, lots of showings, uh, and now we are at 2276. There's a lot of activities out there, so this great triplex has a great future. Here we are in the master bedroom. Let's take a quick look just to give you an idea of what we have. So it requires work, no denying it. So you saw we just what we just saw. We saw the living room and dining room. We saw one bedroom. We saw we took a quick look at a bathroom. Let me show you the view here. You see the middle structure right here with a Mustang from the 60s. If these walls could talk. Second bathroom right here. Okie dokie. All right. Look guys, this is, it's the vision. This is all about the vision. What you're gonna do with this. You could do all sorts of things. One thing that's definitely included with the sale is this cow, which is named Mucca Carolina. As you can see, beautiful cow. Mucca Carolina, say something. Okay guys, let me show you the rest of the house. <laughs> Let's leave the Mucca over there. Let's leave the cow over there. Okay, the kitchen. See, kitchen is old school. In need of some love, for sure. You can see the size of the kitchen. Got an idea. It's 100, and 100 degrees over here. So I was gonna tell you guys about, about mortgage rates which have dipped below 2%. I mean, we've heard about it before, that there were some people offering below 2%. Now it's real, now it's happening. Like there's, there's it's like major lenders are doing it. It's crazy. In this heat, you probably shouldn't be concerned about, about uh, mortgage rates, but just keep that in mind, okay? I point this out last week. I just want you guys to know these details. I like that, you know, I like those little things. So let's let's be done with the main house so we can move on. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick other tour. That bathroom, the back bedroom. There's a clock in the corner. There's our friend the cow. Our friend the cow. Okay, rosaries everywhere. You have this bathroom. 7,500 square foot lot. You tell me, the zoned R2. There are currently three structures on it. There's a front house, that's where we are right now. It's only 110 degrees in this house. So you can lounge and relax. There is a middle house, which is a one bedroom, one bath apartment. 
little bungalow and there is a back house which is a studio I think it's a studio because I've never been inside so just keep that in mind all right let's wrap it up in this in this house so much to see so much to do so little time so you have this porch so in case you guys didn't get an idea of the front so I like to do you know walking through the doorway walking through the doorway every time I think of and look at that this house is full of interesting facts or interesting things like this bird right here okay I'm gonna lock up let's lock it up all lights are off let's double check yep okay guys let's lock this one up forgive my back all right now let's take a quick look at what we have here in the front oh thank you Brian thank you for joining us you see you get a little the setback from the street even if this is not a busy street by any means but you definitely have plenty of room from the structure to the street now let's take a little walk take a little walk look at this Pretty, pretty. I almost sang you guys a song, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to go sing you a song. So this is the this is the house from the outside. That's the middle. So you have uh, just based on space. I would assume, yeah, it has a cute little patio. Very, very good point. Based on the space just in the back here, you can probably park four cars, right? One where that Mustang is, two over here, and probably one right here. Just, just, this is just a rough estimate. You can park four cars and people can still get out. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the basement. One of my favorite parts. We're not gonna waste too much time. We're, oh, it's cooler down here. The basement, very nice. I guess we'll have to spend some time in the basement now because it's so cool. It's only it's only 99 degrees down here. Um, guys, there's a lot of stuff in this basement, but you'd be surprised that you you know, I'm not going to express an opinion, but it doesn't look bad. It does not look bad. You know, yeah, okay. Some of the insulation it's coming off but this house was built in 1920 you guys 1920 so it's a hundred years old it's it's big it's a lot of stuff but it's big plenty of uh, of room let's go look Are you guys excited to take a look at the middle structure I just got a message I kid you not that my phone is getting warmer and some of its feature may be limited, may be limited. I was once in the Death Valley. What am I complaining about? Look at this. So if this phone stops working, you guys know what, it, what happened. It's the heat. Okay, let's go in. Okay, I honestly like this. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. First of all, let me try to cool off the phone. Okay, enough of that. Take, take a look at this. Take a look at this. Look at this little patio. It's so cute. This is so cute. It's kind of, this is very California bungalow feel. Can you guys see it? This little patio right here. It's got, it's like its own world. Okay, and now we go through the door. I bet this is original. 1920 you and you step into the living room the living room you see the living room excellent 
Now we go into the kitchen area. Vinyl floors, probably remodeled in the 60s, maybe, maybe the 70s, maybe even earth, even later. It's a good spacious kitchen for a one bedroom apartment, this little house. Um, you have these little, this is your second mudroom back here. Get an idea, right? Okay. Let's take a look at the bedroom. So you have one bedroom here. Can you guys see the bedroom? Okay, good. Bedroom is nice. I mean, nice, you know, it's good, it's a good size, but the possibilities, we got a closet, deep closet, maybe seven feet, so pretty deep, decent size, as well with the cow, this also comes with the sail, very lucky, it's come sort of fish, this bathroom, yeah, this bathroom is definitely, this bathroom is no good. This bathroom is not fun. This bathroom needs a lot of work, you guys. But then again, what do you complain about when you got a brown sink? You really shouldn't complain about much. Okay, so we saw this, we saw the front, and now, we can't get into the back, but we could take a little tour around the back. There is a gentle breeze. Look at this. You see this? That's cute. All right. Let's lock it up, you guys. Let's lock it up. I can't believe I actually got a warning that my phone is getting too hot and it may, bust, may stop functioning. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna, let's just take a non-real estate related trip to this Mustang. Somebody say Mustang to me. This has got some history right here. Okay, more. More Mustang time. Okay. Woo! L last structure. You guys see it? You know, we could take a little little look outside. We can't go in, but we could take a little look outside. There's a little porch right there. There's a little shed to the side, which is not connected. Let's take a, t a quick look around. This is excellent for Hanging your clothes. You guys want to take a look at the basement? I know you do. I know you want to see what's under this house. It makes you feel like the Goonies. You see? Exciting. Okay. The back of the house, some Italian cypresses. And here we are back at the fig tree. So you got an idea, right? We're back at the fig tree. The house, there's a little shed. Now let's take this route back and we'll see. And here we are back where we started at 2276 Ewing Street, Los Angeles, California, 90039. This is listed by the Sanborn team for $950,000. 
It does not require court confirmation anymore. This is big news. Big news, guys. I hope you've stayed this long because this property no longer requires court confirmation. So you write your offer, boom, you got it. We are, the seller is requesting non-contingent offer. So the property will be made available if you need to uh, inspect and, and you know do, do your due diligence. We'll provide as much document as we can. Um, the lot is 7,500 square feet. What can you do with 7,500 square feet in Silver Lake? There's so many possibilities. There are currently three structures on it. You saw it, there's a main house with two bedroom, two bath, with a very big basement. And um, there is a um, middle house. Thank you, Patty, for joining us. It's great to have you here. <laughs> I guess today I'm getting I'm, I'm getting a good flow of people coming in because honestly I hope you guys are, are locked in your house with the AC blasting because Matthias right here is putting on his sweat and tear for real estate. <laughs> this is the middle structure which is a one bedroom, one bathroom with a living room. Hard to tell what the square footage of the whole thing is. And then we have a studio in the back, which I've never been inside. So guys, thank you so much. We're gonna take a little walk to the front and then we're gonna wrap it up. This is very long driveway. This is definitely a driveway that's long enough. Set back from the street. Thank you very much guys for joining me. This is Matthias with the Sanborn team and we just saw a 2276 Ewing Street in beautiful Silver Lake. I believe this part of Silver Lake is called Edendale. Uh, we are very close to the 2 freeway. There's so many things around here um, that you would be able to do. It's relatively walkable. Uh, once again, it's listed for 950000 by the Sanborn team. And I will see you at the next open house. Thank you so much for joining me. And this Sunday, which is so hot, which is supposed to be this way because it's August. And now there is a gentle breeze to welcome you guys to the end of the open house. The gentle breeze. Fantastic to have you guys. Thank you very much for joining me. If you have any questions, reach out to me or anyone else on the Sanborn team. Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. Bye.